St. Elmo has been an integral part of this community for many generations. Established in 1928, our facility has served as a high school, a middle school, and since 1987, an elementary school. Many generations have passed through our doors because St. Elmo is a place that people fall in love with. To understand our sense of community, you need only to look at our school's family tree. April Bush, a fourth grade teacher, originally joined the St. Elmo family as a student in the late 1980s. Her children are all current and future Cougar Cubs. This is Shirley Gary. Believe it or not, Mrs. Gary was the kindergarten teacher for our very own Amber Joyner, a current fifth grade teacher. Mrs. Joyner's children are also currently attending St. Elmo School. I'm Kristen Cole, the school's gifted and talented program teacher. Standing next to me is Elizabeth Van Cleve, our Title I facilitator. Ms. Van Cleve was my fourth grade teacher when I was a student here at St. Elmo. Pictured with me here is Angela Cummings, my mom. Mom attended St. Elmo in the 1970s when it was a middle school. That's just the beginning. You'll find that many staff members have been a part of this school for more than a decade. St. Elmo quickly becomes home to any and everyone that joins our family. Our educators work to guarantee that students feel the same sense of happiness and belonging that keeps us here. Teachers embrace the community, support families, and work to ensure that each and every student leaves our school with the skills necessary to succeed in life. Our staff understands that a teacher's role is so much more than lesson planning and state standards. Our principal, Deborah Fletcher, has always been an advocate for teaching the whole child. This belief is reflected in our mission statement. Our mission is to provide students with a quality education in a safe and nurturing environment. Students will be successful learners who will graduate from high school and become responsible, productive citizens through self-discipline and guidance from parents, school, and community. Enter any classroom and you'll observe quality lessons delivered by some of the best teachers in the world. In pursuit of our mission, we strive to help these children develop skills and behaviors that contribute to thoughtful decision making and personal success. Leader in Me provides a foundation that makes our motto, scholarship through leadership, apparent in our daily activities. Seven habits are awesome. My favorite habit is number one, be proactive because you're in charge of yourself. Be proactive, that means be in charge of yourself. I like to use habit to begin with the end of mind whenever I do my work because I need to set a goal and a plan of how I'm going to do this and how I need to do it, when I need to do it and exactly how it needs to turn out to get the perfect answer and good reason. I love the seven habits. <laughs> well, first things first, so I can then play. Uh, I love habit number three because uh, we put first thing first and we do our homework before we play. I like using habit number four, think and win, because whenever there's a problem, there there's always a solution. My favorite habit is habit number five. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. If you're like me sometimes, then you have trouble calling out out loud. I always have that habit in my mind. Before I talk, I should think. I use the seven habits every day. Habit number six, synergize is my thing. I like synergize because I get to work with others and hear the others' ideas. My my favorite habit is on habit six on synergize. Habit number seven is sharpen the saw. Right. Habit seven is my favorite habit because it keeps me on track of what I'm doing and keeping me healthy, making me, letting me eat healthy, get enough sleep, and exercise. The seven habits keeps me out of trouble. All of the habits help me at home because they help me get my work done, and they help me make good choices, and let me get my job done. School is a safe place!
place where we come to live.